Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. I am so excited to dive into the Word of God. So why don't you grab your cup of tea, grab your coffee, and let's get ready to dive into the Word of God. But from there, you will search for the Lord your God and you will find him when you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. Deuteronomy 4.29. Tiani, it is so good to have you in the studio yet again. I am just going to kick us right off. I love this verse. Yeah. It has been one that's spoken right to my heart in this season of life. It's just the knowing that if I seek God, I will find him. And it's something that I've actually been really, really challenged about, particularly having been in a Christian for a while. Yeah. I think it's easy to let your life just kind of happen to you, to kind of just keep going. And, and you know, you read your Bible and you're like, yeah, cool, check, done it for the day, it's all good. But to actually go, no, I'm going to seek the Lord. Yes. And I will find him. But something that I've been really challenged about is this idea of like, and in the scripture it says, seek him with all your heart and all your soul. And I think in another version it says, and all your mind. Wow. I'm challenged by that. Because I would say in my day to day, I probably don't do those things. I fit God often into right. a time frame, but do I actually seek him with all my heart, all my soul and all my mind each and every day? Probably not every day. <laughs> That's the truth. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty easy to let life kind of just, yeah, keep going and mm-hmm. you, you go, oh, I need to like spend time with the Lord today. Ah, and then you, you're only seeking him with like the 30 minutes that you have. Yeah. But Which, if, yeah. if that's all you have, 30 minutes in the car is oh, better than no time with the Lord. Absolutely. But I think that when, when you're in a season of being like, no, I need, I need to know more. I want to grow deeper in my relationship with God. It does take that discipline of seeking him. Yeah, absolutely. Discipline is a perfect word exactly for what that is because it's a very much um yeah not that you have to it's like you have to train and you have to be okay I need to have this cup of tea at this time to do this and then I'm seeking the Lord with all my heart but no it's like he just needs is literally just your heart that's all he's after mm. so yeah totally and so Tiani what does this verse tell you about who God is I think for me like I just go well God's requiring action on my point and it's a relationship, right? And, you know, I know that in my life, other relationships are up and down, but this is the most truest and most beautiful relationship that I have. And I want to just make sure I'm committing all my heart properly to him. So I go, well, if he's asking me just for my heart, like that's the least I can give him. And even when it's a hard day, because some days are so hard, <laughs> especially after a long day. So but, hard. Yeah, you just go, well okay, God, I'm going to still choose to give you my heart today. I'm going to choose to give you whatever I do have left. And yeah, every time that I've done that, I go, wow, wow, God, like you are so good to me. You are so good. Mm. I get this idea and, and I've been there as well of kind of these moments of being like, God, you need to give me a sign. Yeah. Like You need to make it so clear, so evident yeah. And the reality is that doesn't often happen. Like it does happen. God can yeah, do every it. Yeah, now and he's, then. He's powerful. He's great. Yeah. But like most of the time it's actually about seeking God. Yeah. It's about actually, like you said, taking the burden of going, okay, no, I'm going to actually seek you, Lord, and yeah. I'm going to I'm going to look for you and not expect everything to just fall in my lap right yeah for sure and so I think that for me it reminds me actually of um of something that I I often think about this scripture when I I'm thinking about like someone who doesn't know God and so often I'm just like just seek God like you'll find him if you seek him and maybe you're listening today and you have never sought God yeah. Maybe you're listening today and you just, you've kind of done what Tiani and I have both been through where we've just let life kind of roll over our shoulders. We've just kind of waited for moments where God would move. But mm. the greatest change in my life happened when I started seeking God. And I think the greatest change has been, I no longer wait for this perfect thing to happen. Right. I no longer wait for happiness. I no longer wait for perfection. I no longer wait for you know, everything working out perfectly. I wait on God and I get comfort and peace from him. And because I get that, 
I don't need anything else. Look, I'm not saying I'm perfect because there are definitely <laughs> moments where I'm like, Lord, please <laughs> help me. Help. I can't do this. This is not enough. Yeah. <laughs> but in the day to day, I feel like I've been able to get to a place of being pretty satisfied with knowing that like if I seek God, he will speak to me. Yeah. And it's not necessarily this big verbal booming voice telling me clear Ashley. things. Nah. <laughs> no, it's 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 the gentle comfort of knowing I'm in God's plan. Yeah. And I think that when I read this verse it makes me realize like God just wants us to meet with him. God doesn't want us to be so fearful and overwhelmed and and worried and 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 unsure that we don't come to him. Mm. He wants us to just meet with him, to open our hearts to him, to be willing to hear what he has to say. That's that's a, a big yes, chunk of it actually as well. Sure. Do, is there a time in your life where this verse has come alive? Yeah, I think for me, like as a child, this is one of the verses that just kind of got me through um, some hard times. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned the other day that, um, yeah, my mum was single mum mm. and I guess growing up without a father figure it's quite tricky, you know, um, as a young girl. And, like, when you call your dad and he doesn't answer you, like, that's hard stuff to go through as a young girl. And I think quite often my thought of what God was was very similar. And I thought that, um, yeah, that God would be like that. But um, that's a lie <laughs> I f- figured out. And I, I just meet God and I go, wow thank you God like that you love me still like I'm gonna seek you and I'm gonna keep trying and it's not that hard because he's just right there like he's he's so there and he's he he was there that whole time and he still is so yeah it's just comforting to know that yeah my heart and soul crave him and and that my my body you know our earthly body will just follow us through to that that time of knowing that God's right there yeah Mm. Yeah. And I guess for you, like when you went through those moments of seeking God and, and I think for you, it's a lot more hindsight. Hey, it's a lot more kind of looking back and seeing God was there for you. But like, how did seeking God change things for you? I think it just builds faith. It builds faith and I guess it builds character and it builds your identity of um, who you are in Christ. Um, I think for me, reaffirming that you know I am chosen by God every morning and I am loved today you know even though I might not have felt like that in the past when you know say my dad didn't call me or talk to me but you know I'm going to choose today to go well God thank you that you've chosen me today that you love me today yeah Mm, that's so great T and I would actually love like would you pray for our listeners I would just love you to pray for two kind of people one being people that are just so unsure how to seek God, how to meet with Him, but also for people who were in a similar season as you, who just needed that comfort and that strength. Would you pray for us? Yeah, sure. Heavenly Father, I just want to pray for everybody today, Lord. I just pray that your your kindness would wash upon each of us. Lord, may we just know that you're right there beside us, that you're never failing and you're always consistent. You never let us down. God, we just love you so much. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. But if you seek the Lord your God, you will find Him, if you seek Him with all your heart and with all your soul. Deuteronomy 4 verse 29. I hope that today's episode acts as a reminder that you can seek Him at any time. It doesn't have to be big and scary. You don't have to hold the weight of the world on your shoulders. But if you seek the Lord, when you actively decide, God, I'm going to choose you, you will find him. You know, I love what Tiani was sharing about how in her life, even when things were difficult, even when the people around her were unreliable, she knew that she could seek God. She knew that God had her even when it was difficult. And so if you're in a similar boat today, or maybe you see people around you, maybe you've got friends who are walking through that similar season, Remind them that they can seek God, that they can trust Him, and that He is always with them. I cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow, but until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.